That's right, kids. You're listening to Corey and AJ's Degenerate School of Wizardry. I am one of two hosts, and sitting across the table from me now and forevermore, the one, the only AJ Davis. And sitting across from, and sitting across from me is the Corey Haim to my Corey Feldman. Corey fucking Shuba. I like that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Corey and AJ's Degenerate School of Wizardry is a live call-in show, so if you want to participate, please do so. The number to call in is 920-CORRUPT. Or 920-267-7878. You can also, if you have yet to do it or you're a newcomer to listening to us, um, go to our Facebook page and like us, which is uh, facebook.com backslash corrupt wizardry. So, and this is episode number 12. Yes. 13. Tw- 12. No, 12. We, we, uh, That's right. We 12. missed it. Well, I mean, you want to get into it right away. Yeah, we can, we can go right into <laughs> we, it, my friend. I mean, if you want to. Um, this a little yeah. behind the scenes of Episode what happens with uh, Corey week. and AJ's Degenerate School of Wizardry. I was not feeling well. Um, <coughs> excuse you, me. You could go into more detail. You had the shits. Oh, no, 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 oh yeah. I, I was, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I woke up. Because um, that's totally par for our show. Uh, yeah, yeah. Immediately. Yeah, I know. Uh, like I, I've told you before, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Um, I, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've told you before we need to call this the poop cast because mm-hmm. we talk about shit so much. Um, but, uh, as far as it goes, I had woken up, uh, I guess Friday morning at, uh, about two o'clock in the morning. The baby was sleeping with me, which didn't help because every time she fucking moves, I'm afraid she's going to fucking fall off the goddamn thing. And yeah. it's so high up there. I'm like, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> So I'm not I'm not sleeping completely, and then I wake up at two, and uh, I'm uh, I'm 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 ridiculous with shit. Like I yeah. just I can't like I can't stay off the toilet. I go, I get back in bed, and I'm like, nope, not finished. Go back, and it, and it just went on for like two and a half hours. Your your asshole is literally just puking. Did it get to the oh. point where you're like dry heaving through your asshole? Isn't that the weirdest fucking feeling? It is. It is because it's like. It is literally dry heaving from your butt. Like your yeah. butt's like, no, 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 no. We have to get this out. And I'm like, there's nothing. There's <laughs> nothing. And it's like, Bleh. <laughs> and like, I'm clenching and I'm like, I can't stop this. Like, yeah. oh, thank God. Like I wasn't on a car trip. Somewhere. Oh God, that would have been the worst. Yeah. Like, ooh, like it's like contractions. You would have I to guess. just straight up adult <laughs> diaper it for as long as you could stand it. God, that's um, miserable. And then anyways. So then, so then. You called me about the show, and I told you that I was not feeling well. Right. And your immediate um, reply thing, reply was, uh, that's fine. I understand. Uh, if you want to do the show tomorrow night, that's okay. Right. And I had not even been thinking about doing the show at a later time. Right. Uh, I was just like, well, I'm just going to have to fucking power through it. It's going to be a shitty show. No pun intended. Right. So, I... Uh, I I then but then you, I you thought were, about you were it. like let me know and then I came back to you and I was right. like I don't think so and you were like all right let's just hold off until six you, you were like let's hold off till six and see if you're feeling any better pulling it together because Josh was still in town right right, right. and I wanted Josh I wanted to do another show with Josh here I got you so it's like just you know see how you feel in a couple hours blah 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 well in that time frame that I gave AJ to decide you said you were going to go to a Solar Bears game right 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 the opportunity came about. Um, to go to the to the hockey game, and then um, I realized that I couldn't go to the game, and then <clears throat> I was much like a bitch forcing AJ to do the show, but he'd already made up his mind that he didn't want to do it. Yeah, you. Sh- I mean, and he'd also told Josh that we weren't going to do it, so he had made out of the plan. So things started to unravel very quickly. Um, so but, so okay. Much like a fighter, though, you get into this mind frame when you want to do it. I'm you know, you. like I was like I mean, amped and ready to go, you know. So you told me, don't update the page until 6. Right. 6 is when, you know, that's our cutoff. Like, that's, you know, I can find something. You could find something else to do. Right. You know? So 6 came and I updated the page and said, no, uh, we won't be doing a show. That's when you... Um, fucking posted minstrel gramps which, yeah, yeah. Uh, that I was having minstrel gramps which means that I was having menstrual a, cramps like a gentleman that follows a knight and plays a lute and sings <laughs> of his deeds grandfather <laughs> uh, I, yeah. you know and I posted it on there and I said it's amazing Corey because oh, fucking A like I didn't <laughs> think you could top yourself you 
You've put some wacky shit out there, and I know we've talked before that, uh, you know, the problem with autocorrect for me is I used to love telling you how to misspell things. Right. Well, autocorrect is ruining my life because you're like, uh uh-uh, and uh, (laughs) and it's fucking ruined. My game is over. What's funny is, like, I'd gotten so many harder words in that that (laughs) paragraph, and they all came out perfect. Until the very last little sentence, which was menstrual cramps. It, yeah. No, I knew what you were getting at, but right. the fucking autocorrect was too good. <laughs> so so you posted that, and then uh, we kind of argued back and forth, and then like I was like, no. And then you texted me, and this drives me fucking crazy. This isn't the first time you've done this. You texted me and said, uh, I want to do the show. I'm on my way. No, I said, I'll be over. No, no. Oh, dude, I wish I fucking saved it, Corey, because I fucking swear to God, you've done it more than once. You said, right. I'm on my way. Right. Now, which, I'm... which is a, which is a which is a play that I took directly from A.J. Davis's uh, what guerrilla warfare friend tactics. Well, and, I learned that from you and because fine. You used to do that to me on the regular all the time because I would be like, no, nah, dude, I don't really feel like hanging out today. And he's like, I don't give a fuck. I'll see you in five minutes. And then you would be but, but at was, my door. That was different because a we were 20 so b if you fucking stay in your room stay in your fucking room you have 15 other people living at this fucking <laughs> squatter uh, union you have going on the commune <laughs> yeah you had you had fucking 16 people there i could hang out with i'll see you later maybe stay in your room i don't give a fuck there's so many people i can hang out with at your house and then i'd be like feeling like i, I was missing out yeah and then i'd come out all pissed off all right, let's so you were so you were like I'm coming over and then uh, so then we by the way when arguing. I said I was coming over I never left my couch oh good good yeah, good yeah, yeah. because I immediately texted you back and I was like no you're fucking not don't come over here now this is where this it, is where this things is, take a this, turn this is where reality <laughs> separates for the both of us yes okay so I am a classic uh hor- classically like the the worst communicator when it comes to text messaging trying to convey what I'm trying to get out and then also receiving the text message and interpreting what the other person is trying to say. AJ, uh, Captain Funny Pants over here, anytime I get a text from him, it's always in the matter of uh, a joke. It's jovial. Every time I read something from you, in my mind, it's, you know, it's a joke. So, and where I'm laying on my couch texting back and forth with you, I'm playing into the joke that I'm having with you. I, I right, think right. this is like a to you, funny, you're like, Oh, great, great banter. Yeah. That's exactly what it was. It was hilarious banter. I'm sitting on my couch, literally just like joking back and forth with you. But apparently on the other end, on my end, I'm you're, laying in bed going, you're getting red hot. This motherfucker, <laughs> the balls on this guy. <laughs> right. So we argue back and forth. Um, and it comes down to and I, I don't know what it was all about it was basically Corey saying no I really want to do this and I'm like no and then and then and I'm like I really just don't feel well and Corey then puts uh do you remember that time I was in the car accident for the second show and I still showed up and I broke my back <laughs> I capitalized that too and I, I yeah, broke you, my fucking yeah, back yeah. <laughs> and I read this and I'm like oh God, guilt trip bomb. Fuck this guy. I don't even have anything to say to him. And I didn't say anything. To you him. didn't reply back. And and, uh, and then I let it go for three days. I didn't right. want to talk to you. I'm I like, was fuck this guy. I was joking around. But when I say I'm, I'm horrible at communicating, we didn't text or talk in three days. And that didn't even phase me. I didn't, didn't even, even notice. Register. Not even a, not even an iota that you were mad in any way, shape or form. And the fact that I didn't hear from you yeah. for three days. I, it wasn't a big deal to me. Like I, I didn't even think about it. It was and crazy. For me, I was like, I'm not fucking talking to that fucking piece of shit. Well, anyway, so let's let's go into Saturday, right? So we don't do the show Friday, and then oh, 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 <clears throat> wait, wait, wait! Before we get into Saturday, because, okay? Uh, because there's there's a point I want to make about that as well, which was, um, <laughs> so when I decided I didn't want to do the show Friday, Corey was like. Oh, well, it's your responsibility to, uh, you know, update the page. Let the fans know we're not doing it tonight. And that also we, a joke. And that we'll do it tomorrow. I was, I was fucking around with you more. Yeah, yeah. I know. I, well, you know, I took that very serious. I didn't think we were in an argument at that point. This was yeah. long before the argument. Okay. Um, so I was like, oh, God. And that's when the whole menstrual gramps thing came up. And right. I updated the page. And I was like, okay, I'm taking responsibility. It's my fault. Like, <laughs> let them fucking blame me. 
And then, uh, so then, so yeah, you said it's your responsibility. You update the page, let them know. Right. Now. Totally joking around. Saturday. But anyways, Saturday rolls around. Uh, I talked to you earlier in the day. You're like, okay, I'll see you at nine, eight, whatever, whatever. Whatever, whatever the time was. Yeah. It was the middle of the day. Right. I was already feeling like shit. I had a headache already. Right. But I was like, I'm pounding uh, a leave left and right. I'm like, I'll be good to go. It's I'll good be good to your, go. It's good for your liver. But well, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> but anyway, so um, it comes around to when I need to come over here and it's like seven o'clock. And, and my, I texted him because Corey does this thing where he knocks on my fucking door, which he knows I don't like. I don't like my friends to knock on my door. Just text me when you get here. I'll let you in. No problem. That's right. an easy way. It's the fucking doorbell of the future is my text messaging. So uh, I text you. But you don't you. always respond directly to texts. You do know that, right? No, but and I do check it The constantly. common greeting when you approach someone's door is to either A, ring the electronic device that alerts I'm, people that you're at the I'm front with door, you, but I don't the know. doorbell, or you fucking knock. But you have no idea what state my daughter is I, in okay, at that point. Okay, that's true. And also, you have a dog. Yeah. And any time that, that any noise... barks crazy. Dog's doing backflips. Ridiculous. Freaking out. Right. So, I, I text him, and I'm like, do not knock on my fucking door. Right? I'm still pissed about the night before. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I forgot. We're still in... I'm still fighting with you. I'm like, do not knock on my fucking door through text message. And, and I'm like, laughing on the other end. And you're going... Joking around. Uh, I'm not coming over. Yeah. And so I texted you. Because you thought I was mad at you or you thought no, you I were thought, fighting? No, I thought you had a fucking headache. Oh, okay. I, thought, I yeah, believed yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, but I thought Corey should fucking update the goddamn page and let them know it won't be happening tonight either. If I had to fucking do it, he has to fucking do it. Right. Fuck that guy. See that fly? Yeah, I saw it. I don't give a shit. Him. It's in that. What uh, are you, Matt, Mr. Miyagi with chopsticks? No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm Mr. AJ with my giant mitts anyway okay. so uh so i was like this fucking guy so i text you and i'm like all right that's fine prick like i'm like oh, this you didn't fucking... say prick no no no. i didn't You're say like yeah that's but fine. in my head i'm like yeah. this the balls on this guy when i dropping, read it too dropping the break the i broke my back fucking guilt trip yesterday and he's got a headache and he doesn't come over let me explain the headache though it was a serious situation i don't ever get migraines ever and i don't know if it's because of the back injury or the slip discs or what but this headache that I fucking got on Saturday night, I'd never experienced anything like it before. I, it wasn't necessarily light sensitive. My head hurt so bad that my vision was blurry. Like it was weird. Like I couldn't focus on anything. Uh, everything was w like a weird hue. Like someone who needs glasses and then they take them off. That like weird hue, I would imagine. Because, yeah. you know, whatever. But anyway, so that's how bad my head hurt. And, but when I was like, dude, migraine, I can't do it sorry and then he was like he just responds back okay or whatever something I said buddy something it, it but when i read it i i in my head i heard soft aj uh like baby voice like oh it's cool buddy relax yeah, i hey. get it because i was sick yesterday Take a load off. yeah just relax mine was like are you gonna update the fucking facebook page is how i want i know to i know but and then you're like can you update the page and then i, I couldn't even look at my phone like you're i couldn't even text back and i was like no, but like I was also like still like joke. I was still like <laughs> because when I was told you to update the page, I was like, ha ha ha. Right. And when I heard you say and when no, you said it when back I read to it, me, I was like, when you said it back to me, I was like, <laughs> again, yeah, again, yeah. the fucking I'm looking. I'm like, <laughs> this fucking guy, what the fuck? And whatever happened with that? Did we just leave it out or did we just leave, leave it hanging Saturday? Yeah. I mean, well, we when I updated the page, I didn't change the event okay which i realized only saturday and then i was like oh, fuck. Yeah, you should have just erased the event Corey should make a are we getting a call or something did you hear that uh, we are getting a call but uh we're not going to take that call because that's my buddy calling to talk about the solar bear game because he was at the solar bear game and <laughs> right. i was asking how we we're doing and it's now the game's over so he's probably just calling to wrap about that <clears throat> Anyways, so yeah, so you were like no, and I was like okay, and then that was the last time we talked for three days, right? And uh, but and that's why we're calling this the reunion show. I had no idea like, that we you, broke up. Yeah, this no show, clue. This show was over as far as I was concerned. <laughs> we were done. I was gonna, I was gonna bid fond <sighs> farewell to Corey, and I love it. Uh, 
and it was just going to be Corey's Degenerate School of Wizardry if you kept it going. <laughs> uh, I, let me take this opportunity mm-hmm. to apologize to you because, number one, I did not understand that you were angry mm-hmm. in any way, shape, or form. And if I knew you were upset, I would have bit that in the ass and you wouldn't have had to been mad for three days. But I thought we were joking around. It's, it's so weird the way reality is. Right. Because what you perceive through text messages, especially broken text messages from my fucking dyslexic <laughs> right, ass. Right, right, right. To read into that at all is like trying to. He's not spelling this shit right on purpose. He's <laughs> really trying to get under my skin right now. Uh, um, so uh, just. That's that's fine. We're reunited. Uh, and it feels so good. I almost knew you were gonna do that, and I was hoping almost, you but I did. I know. You should have. You should have said, "I know what you're about to do." No, I didn't have time. Yeah, that's true. Um, so uh, on another note, um, I've been having some uh, car troubles recently, mm-hmm. and uh, had to buy some things, and uh, went to a. Uh, auto parts store and I thought what I was trying to buy came in a set right okay Which would have been too fucking good to be true right um, but it turns out they they they're individual you have to buy them they're expensive as fuck right and they only had one and I needed four so the guy's like you could just order the other three right and I was like that's that's fine I guess you know uh, the, the car had been sputtering and kind of shitting out on me but and it, and it's our Jesus it's okay. Christ. It's our good car. You know, the one we uh, drive the baby around in. Right. So uh, I It's was the like, protecting vehicle. Exactly. Yeah. And I thought... The rolling baby cage. Exactly. I thought uh, this is the only um, option I have. Right. Because we, take it, we took it to uh, fucking Tires Plus, and I take it there because I like that guy. The guy that works there, the GM. Right. He's a good dude. He's never done me wrong. He's, you know... Did he, you mention he, the name? Tell, tell, tell people oh, where the, the location it's tires, is. It's Tires Plus in Hunter's Creek. Okay. Uh, the guy's name is Tony. He's the GM there, and he is... Stand-up dude. He's he's always he's always done me right, you know? I mean, he lets me know if, like, hey, if you are just trying to fucking drive this thing, you do this. Mm-hmm. If you want to put the extra money into it and get things that could be worked on, you do this. He's, he's, he's that fucking... He's the antithesis of what people talk about when they talk about mechanics, Basically, right, you know right. what I mean? It's always that fucking, well, he fucking charged me $65 to put air in my tires, basically, right, sort right. of thing. And he, this guy would never do that. So I took it. I got the diagnosis. I spent 116 bucks. He's like, look, the thing you need to get your car running is this thing. Uh, if we do it today, your total is going to be uh, like $697. Damn. And I'm like, that is not within our budget. Yeah, that's whatsoever. astronomical. Not even close. So um, I'm like, I'm just going to have to pick it up today and I'll... I'll Do you guys ever consider horse and buggy? Eh. Straight Amish style? You know, I'm going to have to leave four hours before I have to be anywhere. That's true. Um, and not, you do have to get up in the middle of the night to feed the horse and shit. Oh, yeah. You got to keep the fucking horse alive. Yeah. It's big. It's big. <laughs> All right. I retract that. I retract that. It's more expensive than what I just did. <laughs> you know how much hay I need? A lot. Yeah. So... uh so I fucking, I, I order these things. Then I call that guy back today, right? Because mm-hmm. I put one of these parts in my car. I need the other three and I'm waiting for six days, they told me. But the car is just, it's worse. It's worse now. Right. So I go, I call that dude and I'm like, look, what what can I do? I got about $240. How many of those things can you put in? <laughs> he's like, He's like, look, man, I like you. Do this. Call this place. They're going to have it. You tell them I sent you, they'll hook you up, okay? Now, this guy doesn't need to do that. He's taking fucking money from his business that right. he works at. Right, and he's he's And money that would go into his pocket, presumably. But he sent me to this place. I fucking pick up the parts, right? I go back to... Uh, Did you at fucking... least give him a courtesy blow? Before no, you left, like no, a, I know I needed to. I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something. For you're him. gonna have to go I, I back have to do something for him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Fucking, he did you a solid. Oh, I'm gonna give him a solid rim job. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There you go. You just give me a rim shot. I'm gonna give him a rim job. Uh, so, uh, so I fucking go now. 
I know this is a long convoluted story to get where I want to go. So I go back to the auto parts store and tell them I don't want to order these fucking parts. I got the parts I need. I'm not waiting for another five days. They proceed. Now, keep in mind, I bought one, ordered three. I didn't realize till later that they refunded all four. Mm -hmm. Now, this brings me back to what I wanted to talk about, which, like I said, was a convoluted story for uh, one topic. It's okay. Now, is it good? Now, I don't love to subscribe to karma. Right. I don't at all. But just... Put yourself there. Okay. okay. The mind frame of you do good things, good things come back to you. Right. right. Um, now, I'm, I'm confused about it because the second I started thinking about it, I was like, okay, is that good karma coming to me? Right? right. Right. Because that's something great. Like my car got fixed for fucking almost $100 cheaper and like. Which is awesome. Like $400 cheaper than the other place, you know. But I also got some money back. Now, is that good karma? Or is this karma playing a shitty game with my life where they're like, are you going to fucking do the right thing and go back and tell them that they fucking took too much money uh, off of them? Am I supposed to respond to this as someone who believes in karma? Yes, yes. I want you to put yourself there. Um, uh, The way karma works. You do good, you get good. You do bad, you get bad. I don't think you did bad because they fucked up. This is a fucking gray area, is what it is. Yeah. Because you can look at it. I don't as, think I don't think karma applies here. Well, just you're you're benefiting off of an the, idiot's a, mistake, right? And that's not your fault. But I did work retail, and I know the fucking consequences. They may not even notice. This that. guy only had one fucking arm. Le- well, which you know fucking freaks me out. Okay, so you know what? You get even more. Maybe of a, the listen, karma is coming to me because I didn't lose my fucking mind. That's while what I was, was going <laughs> to say. I think you get more of a pass because you were patient enough to deal with a one-armed individual and saying instead of being like, "Uh, can hey, I? Can you go get that other Puerto Rican exactly. to come fucking yeah. do this?" The guy with both hands. Yeah. Can yeah yeah. Can you get one with all his digits and? Yeah. Uh, fucking limbs so i think you get a pass for that alone you did a you did a good deed you all right let me let's put it out there that you pushed past your own personal phobia well i'm gonna have to do that for 353 dollars yeah well you did it (laughs) and the universe paid you off by giving you back a little bit now okay but what what happens see i'm just manipulating this bullshit system called karma it doesn't even no i'm with you i'm with you but what happens his name was mario okay what happens if Mario loses his job over this fifty-three, uh, eighty-two dollars? He won't. Well, we don't know that. It's we don't a clerical know. error. What if? What if he is? Look, I've worked retail. I know. You get you get three fucking write-ups. You're done. Okay. That's m- how most companies work. Uh, right. One arm, strike one. Okay. He no. only gets two write-ups. <laughs> well, according to you, he can only have five because that's <laughs> as far as he can count. No, on his but hands. just think about all the complaints they already get about him only having one arm. How is he going to change a battery? Look, somebody with don't a they have this? Don't they of have amputees? Don't they have a, a policy that they will change any battery on the spot? He's not doing that shit. Yeah, he is. You should have seen this guy. He's a wizard. He's fucking throwing uh, shit in the air and spinning uh, around. Yeah, look at this. He's going to pick get up a battery with my can't... with my one finger. Hold on, it looks like this. I've got one finger hanging off this elbow that I can pick a battery up with. Bullshit. So his other arm was completely fine. Yeah, yeah, but you need both hands to change a fucking car battery. You ever no. done that one handed? No, but you don't know what... There's fucking people with no arms that drive cars. Yeah, well, those people... <laughs> I'll stop myself. No, go ahead. You can't possibly say anything worse than what I've said on this podcast. Thank God. Call from... Aaron. To accept, press 1. To send a voicemail, press 2. Aaron, thanks for calling Corey and AJ Degenerate School of Wizardry. How are we doing this evening? Uh, right up here, buddy. Wonderful. How are you? We are doing pretty fan fucking tastic. How are you Good. doing? Good? Oh, uh, pretty damn fucking tastic. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks for tuning in after last week's debacle. Jesus, I should talk into the microphone. You should. <laughs> um, hey, I wanted to talk about the karma thing. The karma thing. Please the weigh in. Thing. Absolutely. Go ahead. So I am a full subscriber to the whole karma thing. Okay. Um, I'm very, very big on like gratitude and showing your appreciation towards others, and I try to practice that in my in my daily life. Okay. But 
with the karma thing. So you get the wrong things at McDonald's. Okay, so... You were super, super nice to me, and you did a wonderful job at whatever you were trying to do. Can you give me the wrong things? I'm absolutely going to give you that money back. I totally agree. And nobody was specifically dickish, but at the same time, the whole card game is a racket. Like, this piece is... Get, it, it was made in China for 15 cents. I was going to say, yeah. It's at 8,000% yeah. markup, I'm sure. Nice right. catch. Oh, I, I, you know, I can't fully weigh in on the mechanic thing because my mechanic is a good friend of mine and hooks me up. So, <laughs> um, it is nice to have yeah. those friends, and yeah. we and we all right do. Area. Okay, so now that I have you on the phone, since you are a believer in karma, we can have a discussion uh -huh. about this. Um, okay. Because I am not a negative person, and I try to treat people with respect every day, and I try to be nice to everyone that I come across, because I believe that that's just being a good person, right? right. Of course. Um, I'm right there I don't you. believe there's any... Uh, universal, universal, uh, yeah. cosmic like effect to my positive energy that right. I put there's, out. There's no I, solar flare and, and negative energy shooting right back at your. And I'm not head. necessarily expecting people to be nice back to me. Um, the reason I that, don't, I I don't think that it's like a solar flare type thing. <laughs> but I think that if you put yourself in a position to be positive and to pay that forward to somebody else, you have to believe that it can have an effect on someone else outside of yourself, whether that's just one person ripple or a 20 person ripple. No, I, 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 I totally agree with that. And but, I think that's what Corey is actually trying to say as well. Right. That is that I was just trying to take this thinking of, because the gray area here of whether in a, I don't believe in karma, but in a mind state uh -huh. of karma, if, like I was receiving good karma, he was receiving bad karma, or if we had reached some kind of fucking gray area impasse of karma, like a Venn diagram somewhere in the middle, <laughs> and that you know what I mean, like like but was it like really what you're was doing it karma is you're creating, testing me? You're creating walls in the constructs of of this thing that you're just projecting well yeah but i don't believe in it i'm just trying to put that. myself in that thought but what i'm saying is like you putting yourself in that imaginary arena you're building the scenario to fit the situation there's that's know. the flaw yeah, yeah. that's the yeah. flaw okay I fair feel, enough i feel like we're karma larping now oh i <laughs> like it you know i almost made the joke earlier <laughs> that it was karma because i was getting car parts right right very funny. Uh, um, but the reason, <laughs> let's talk about, okay, so I don't believe in karma. And the, and the reason I don't believe in karma is because I also don't believe in things happen for a reason. Um, right. Because I don't believe in wishful thinking. Um, I, I believe You're just people that, people that uh, you like have, science. well, it's not just <laughs> that. It's just that people that project that everything happens for a reason. I can sit back and everything's going to be fine. That's fucking bullshit. Because there are so yeah. many horrific negative things that happen in the world around us that have no bearing whatsoever on the concept of everything happens for a reason. Because you can't explain to well, me why I, a little four-year-old girl gets fucking the worst cancer ever and then suffers before she dies. Okay? Or a, a mother of two is coming home from work and she gets into a fucking car accident and then her kids have to grow up without agreed, a mom. Agreed. There's no cosmic explanation why that would be... Everything happens for a reason. It, 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 it just it doesn't fit. There's too many, and I won't even go into the most horrific yeah, aspects that really, you could go. I'm I, not you, going when to. When you said the four-year-old girl thing, yeah. I thought you were going much darker, uh, and you were freaking me out, bro. No, no. You thought I was going stand dusty on you. I thought you were getting crazy. No. I, that's why, as soon as you said it, I was like, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. But no, that, I, that's exactly no, my point. No, I totally, I totally agree with you. I, I, I don't believe in the whole everything happens for a reason, and I'm just going to sit back and do whatever because everything is going to happen. Right. Um. I totally think that you you absolutely control your destiny and you control where you're going, but I think that you control that through what you put into the world and what you take out of it. And that's... Sort that, of going that, back to 
do that good karma, bad karma thing. Right, but that's a very positive mind frame to have as an individual for your personality, and I concur. I think that's great. Be- well, and, <laughs> and that's and that's great. I think I wish every everybody out there would be like that. But you know, I don't believe that there is. Uh, you do enough good deeds, good deeds are going to start happening to you. I don't believe that well, law exists. Yeah, yeah, but not cosmically. But what she's saying, and I what know. I agree with. Yeah, yeah it does do make sense. Good deeds, you, if you're a good person, good things will come to you because people will be, fucking people want to do good things for people. That right. Do good. It's a it's a cause and effect thing. Uh, it, this but reminds I me. I don't believe you. There's like. People who really buy into the karma aspect, they set up this Fucking like smell a, bad. a magic they smell like well, shit. They 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 set up this um, like imaginary like bank in their mind where they deposit right. yeah, good yeah. deeds, and then all of a sudden that they can just hope that they're gonna make a giant withdrawal of <laughs> yeah, awesome yeah, yeah, from you. the bank of imaginary land. About, are you talking about people who believe in karma or people who believe in God? Well, well, see, it goes uh, that that's. Do well, let me say this first, real quick. Was my friend uh, that lives in Miami actually posted something really funny uh, in the vein of what we're talking about, which was he works at a pawn shop, right? And a lady came up to purchase the movie, pay it forward, okay, and he, and he fucking refused to charge her for it. You almost spit that the fuck out, didn't I you, almost, Corey? <laughs> almost did. That's ridiculous. Which, which he posted it, and I was like, that's fucking genius. I would have never thought of that. Yeah. Uh, again, on the other side with the uh, the Christianity thing, you know, it goes into... She just said religion. Really? Okay, God. we'll, we'll say religion. Be. Well, that, to... Because that's that's my frame of reference. Okay. That's my okay. frame of reference. Very narrow. And, uh, what you were saying earlier with the, uh, you know, the cosmic, this is why this, you know, right. no, no, that wouldn't happen, this wouldn't happen, that wouldn't happen. I love the um, the out, the out that Christians have. That is, well, well she's God, just an angel now. No, 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 no not even Fucking that. That's, I mean, not even that. God, it's God the uh, her. God would never, God would never give you more than you can handle. Yeah. God, he's really he's testing my faith. Yeah. Testing. What? Yeah. What? I'm sorry, but uh, last I checked, he was fucking hands off, and that's why we are free to choose. <laughs> what I, what I love about that is that statement of he's testing my faith is really you're testing yourself in buying into this imaginary force that you believe in. Uh, you're also testing whether you believe in the old fucking testament or the new fucking testament. What is my name, Job? <laughs> you're delving into sc- the, the, the. I don't want to. I don't want to yeah, get into. You're, yeah. you're diving in specifics <laughs> of your particular religion, and we're talking about a very broad thing. Well, here. nothing is. Ne- nothing in this world has ever made me like jo- the Book of Job. Aside from everything that happened to me mm-hmm. uh, with God and his followers, mm-hmm. the Book of Job uh, fucked with me because. Uh, you know what my major uh, reference to the Book of Job is. Arrested Development? No, Mission Impossible. I don't even get that. <laughs> Job 314, the what? book of Job. That was the clue in the whole movie. No? No. You never saw Mission Impossible? The first one? Mm, I try not to watch Tom Cruise movies. Mm. It's a good one. That I one's do, pretty I good. I do what I can. For its time. It's dated. Well, you watch okay. it now and you're just like, ugh. We, uh... Hey, uh, Aaron, sorry yeah. for throwing <laughs> you out of the conversation. She's, She's still like, hanging out. <laughs> yeah. You're there. Uh, let's jump back into the karma thing, since that's why you called. Right. Okay, so karma, I don't believe is a bad thing for people to be into. I don't believe in it just because of all the things that I just mentioned. However, if people do buy in, just like I believe that religion is good for the world mm-hmm. because it helps a lot of people out. Um, it just doesn't work for me because I think it's complete bullshit. Um, but right. I believe that karma as a theory for common people to be like or for other people to be into is a great thing because it does promote positive uh thinking and 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 positive actions which i'm all about i just wish people would take it upon themselves instead of like needing something like karma and or religion to be a good person to just be a good person well now now you've got now you've got me thinking though um is that people do, what you mostly hear about karma right is uh is not so much the positive it's always like it's yeah, somebody it's negative it's always yeah. karma's a bitch it's yeah. somebody talking it's shit about somebody else I read something, 
I read something a few months ago on, I mean, to quote all fucking reputable sources, Pinterest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, <laughs> but I read a quote on there that said, karma is only a bitch if you are, and that's the fucking truth. It's like, true. If you go around acting like an asshole, sure, fucking people should treat you like an asshole because exactly. that's how you're acting. You never... If you, but that just goes back to what I was saying. You, I wish yeah. people would just be you, good people. You only hear people bring up karma if they're talking shit about somebody else. Yeah, because they <laughs> because they don't want to say it to their face. They're right, like, right. oh, karma's going to get them. Or, they're going to get like, theirs. It's or like, man, or, no, it's Or somebody not. will say something like, oh, I must have done something shitty in a past life. No, I fucking hate that, too. <laughs> Jesus, God. <laughs> I can only imagine the things, if there was such a thing as a past life, the things that I got into oh in a past life. God, I would hope that you get better and better because what I've accomplished terribly in my life my ancestors or whoever the fuck like the fucking beetle I was was just fucking shitting all just over everybody's dumb house dumb beetle crazy just yeah. rolling so much rolling dung. shit everywhere and leaving it right under like inside people's shoes yeah what an asshole what a dick beetle See, I Jesus. like to think I, I totally like like to think about past lives but not like I must have done something wrong or done something right I totally think that I was like a, a fucking plumber in a past life because I have like a weird innate sense of fixing things in the bathroom. <laughs> so I was totally like a hairy butt out <laughs> plumber in a past life. Uh, that 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 took a total turn. I was not expecting you to say that, but that's funny. Um, you have actually left me fucking speechless. I don't have a joke for that. There's nothing. <laughs> you took the power away from me. No joke. That was my past life. Um, In my next life, I hope to be like a dog or something because they have the best fucking lives ever. Oh, Jesus. And that dog's gonna be like. Dog that dog's gonna be like. Dog karma. That dog's gonna be like. Oh my god! I just. I know how to fucking blog so goddamn fucking well. <laughs> I just don't understand. But seriously, do you ever hear a dog complain about karma? Like walking my dog, like she turns around and looks at me like, oh, you stepped in shit. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> yeah. I, I love Karma's it. a female dog. I love it. Just, <laughs> oh, I like it. I like it, Corey. I no, tried. it's okay. It's I okay. Tried. It fell flat. I didn't get it I at know. first. Uh, That's that highbrow humor. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not funny. No, you're all right. I try. You're okay. I try. <laughs> Karma's a female dog. God. It's okay. We'll make sure it's people will get it later. That we should all make right. that a t that could be our first T-shirt. Karma's a female dog. Definitely not our first T-shirt. Oh man. Maybe <laughs> seventh. Wow, wow, wow. Aaron, thank right, you Aaron, so much for calling, for calling. Love. Have a great night. Okay. Thanks, you too. Right, Thanks the Trumbles again for listening. Yes, we'll uh, we'll be listening. <laughs> I'll make sure you're funny. <laughs> yeah. Tell us when we're not. <laughs> All right, bye. All right, bye. It is a uh, break <clears throat> time, huh? I think it is. I think we've uh quickly reached our first break. Forty minutes in. Um I was supposed to pick music for us to listen to. I failed to do that. Um so what I'm going to do and I told AJ, I'm just gonna play the first set. Uh, I have like personal playlists or whatever. This is the Silver Sun pickup playlist. The first song is Panic Switch, and then the second song is uh, Substitution. So if you're into uh, Silver Sun pickups, you'll dig this. If not, I don't give a fuck. We'll be back in a couple minutes. Thanks for listening to Corey and AJ's Degenerate School of Wizardry. Yeah, buddy. <laughs>
And we are back with Corey and AJ's <laughs> Degenerate School of, of Wizardry. Breaking my balls. <sighs> I know. Um, we gonna, It's just one song break there. Uh, yeah. We'll play the next song. I forgot how long uh, the Silver Sun pickup songs are. They're like eight minutes a piece, and I totally forgot about that. We're not doing a 16-minute break. Yeah. That, that's not happening. Um, and if I you want to give us a call, uh, again, uh, you know, we don't want to be dicks, but uh, no... Uh, Hello calls anymore. I think we've pretty much ruled that out. I think that uh oh, I, I think we've graduated sick. past that. I hope. I hope you know, ten you know, tenth show on, like let's let's Come you know on, no more just a hey. Hey, remember when remember when um we, we hung this. out? Yeah, that remember one time? that thing remember? we did? That's a uh, fucking ridiculous. But uh yeah, give us a call if you're listening. Uh, apparently we dropped uh nine viewers in that eight minutes of a Yeah, seven seven viewers during that music break. Yeah. Um, I didn't know I didn't know the Silver Sun pickup were so uh, universally hated. You didn't I know? Had no clue. Oh God, I was uh, the only one that I didn't never, get the memo. I was never a fan. No, no. I mean, I'm, I hate when you get to pick music. I know you do. Uh, if you want to give us a call, it's nine two zero corrupt or nine two nine two nine. Stop nine two zero six seven eight. Wrong. Uh, two six seven seven eight seven eight. Let's try it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Nine two zero corrupt or nine two zero two six seven seven eight seven eight. You got it right the second time, but okay. you fucking. But you know how I got it right? I got it right because I just listened to you say it in my head, and then I repeated it. <laughs> whoever whoever lives that's in how my brain San works. Bernardino, California, <laughs> with a six seven eight number, is now getting calls like, "Hey faggots, <laughs> hey you pieces of shit." Um, yeah, that's funny. I was just I was just thinking. Um, now and and I, w- I want to hear your opinion because this is something we actually have never talked about. Um, pit bulls. Okay. Um, now I I feel like the people it, we've gotten to a point right where people either love them or hate them, but the people that hate them never fucking talk about them, right? Okay. It's just people that love them that apparently don't shut the fuck up about them. Yeah. Basically, now I fall on the side of I fucking hate them. Okay. Um, I have a really terrible joke that I I heard that I won't tell. It has a lot to do with personal experience, whether you like them or you don't like them. Well, I I, I have I mean I I had I had my experience with a pit bull was our friend uh, Katie Hellbent. Yep. Uh, had one when I first became friends with her, and I was actually I hired her boyfriend at the job we worked at. Marley? And, uh, yeah, Marley. And uh, probably 50% of that was um, terror. The first the first 50% was terror. And then when I started, like, house-sitting for her, he was fucking amazing. You know what I mean? Like, he was a, he was a cuddle dog. You know what I mean? Like, he slept between my legs, like, when I would house-sit for her when she would go uh, home and everything. But I still hate pit bulls uh, because you you never you don't hear about them ever unless a it's these fanatics saying like oh they're such a wonderful breed right well they're 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 bred <clears throat> that, that that is a specific breed to fight right it's um a, it it's a it's a warfare dog yeah the the I mean there was a point where the bull terrier didn't have enough fight in it or enough energy to fight so they bred jack russell into that so it was not only vicious but fucking hyper right um now when i argue with people they just tell me i'm wrong they can't fucking tell me anything other than the fact that i'm fucking wrong and i hate that when like th- that's not how and they refuse works. to see the other side of the fucking coin that's the other thing that fucking kills me and i guess that goes with any fucking argument but where whereas I'm willing to and that's that's something that you and I have in common is you and I are ready and willing to entertain the other side right. and say, Okay, well I understand this and this and this, but how can you do this? And then they're always like, You're fucking wrong. This breed is fucking beautiful. I'm sorry, but what you're not realizing is that is a breed that was made to fight. Right. Dog fighting is not a new fucking thing. Michael Vick didn't make it up. Uh he did host the Puppy Bowl, which is fucking hilarious. Uh, I had this vision in my head that Michael Vick is hosting the Puppy Bowl, and he like 
loses his mind. He's like, this is so fucking boring. And he starts stomping <laughs> Pumpy's heads out. Right. Uh, but at the same time, he like he, didn't, he like grabs the bottom of their jaw and the top of their jaw yeah. is like making them bite the <laughs> no, other puppy. No, he goes the other way. He does it saw style and just <laughs> <laughs> like bathing in their blood. Um, but as far as it goes, he didn't make it up. The urban culture didn't make it up. This is a fucking very archaic uh, practice of dog fighting. Um, and that is a breed that was made to do that, made to do that. And you don't hear about these dogs unless A... It's these fanatics who just love them. Or B, they're mauling an old woman or child to death. And it's not mauling. It's like ripping (coughs) off their fucking face. Yeah, to where they have to be shot to stop. Right, yeah. Uh, They like Uh, bite down and they don't let go until the dog is dead. So you do agree with me. Uh, Yeah, I mean, here's the deal. Um, Unfortunately for the species of dog that they are, they're and you can't debate this they're unpredictable Mm -hmm. now people who are pro pit bull will say a pit bull is not dangerous until it's been trained to be that way unfortunately inherently they have a switch and there's no telling what's going to set that dog off for whatever reason but when that switch is flipped that switch does not get turned off unfortunately until whatever it is biting is fucking dead and unfortunately for the species of the animal that they are um for that reason i'm not pro pit bull however i have had very positive experiences with pit bulls Mm -hmm. uh case in point t has a pit bull Right. A big red, and it's a pit bull mixed with a mastiff. Oh, perfect. So it is just not giant. It's the Tyrannosaurus it, Rex of, of pit fucking pit bulls. And it has like a fucking, uh, its shoulder span across. It's like flat. <laughs> that's all, that's all, that's all the pit bull fucking species needed was to add the word mastiff to uh, it. <laughs> dude, all right, this dog is insane. So, uh, T lives over by a little league field, right? Yeah, right. And the outfield wall is his backyard yeah, fence, that's right? Bullshit. I... Massive, right? Anyways, Justin can throw a tennis ball against the the wall, and mm-hmm. the dog will run and jump up the wall to get the tennis ball. And Justin is six foot six. Right. Yeah. The dog literally its back legs get up to Justin's head. The dog is running six feet up this wall to get this ball. It That's, is the most insane thing you've ever seen in your life. The dog can jump over me standing up. You know, think what about that, that dog in attack mode. No, 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 that's that's what I'm saying. That's 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 what that like right. us. You know, you know us what? as human men, right? Bare hands, octagon. That dog, that dog fucking wins, dude. dude. They they could have put that dog in the fucking Roman Coliseum instead of the lions, and oh, yeah. it, it would have done better than the lions. <laughs> lions are fucking lazy for in real life for the most part. Uh, yeah. You know, it, it, that's what you just told me freaks me the fuck out. It's scary. It's the same thing as when like Shark but, Week comes on and you watch that whole fucking documentary. I don't go in the ocean anymore because sharks can jump now. What chance do I have? But that, I can't even now swim it, obviously, but if I get on land, it's going to fucking come flying out of the water at me. That being said, even seeing Justin with this rope in the dog's mouth and the dog's pulling on Justin and then Justin starts to spin in a circle and the dog's mouth locks onto the rope and it literally, he's swinging the dog in the air. <clears throat> that being said, it's the it's the most gentle fucking thing ever. He's just a big puppy. Like he's like the most beautiful, like like loving animal. But when you see him do these displays of unbelievable of savagery, feats, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like literally, Justin kicked this tennis or soccer ball across. You know how like indestructible yeah, a soccer ball is. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, thank you, man. And like raw, crazy on this ball. Like, I was like, I, God I, damn. I just, you know, and, and uh, I was talking to a very good friend of mine today. And the only thing I posted on his page, he posted a fucking picture that's like, uh, people are the ones that train me to fight. People right. are the ones that let me go crazy. People, blah, blah. And you want to ban me? Right? And I posted on his page. And this is all I posted. And I, I know I've had this conversation with him. But... The conversation about pit bulls is, especially with what he posted, right, is the exact same fucking conversation about gun control. Yeah. Right? People 
Oh God. Use a gun to fucking shoot uh, people. You're cracking this worm. I'm this no, can. I'm just, no, I'm just saying. Okay. Doesn't it go both hey. ways? I mean, it's, hey. yeah. it's the same thing. It's basically you put the dog in responsible, irresponsible hands, and it becomes a fucking weapon. So, and you put a gun in in irresponsible hands, and it's no longer. And it's the same thing. You buy a a gun to protect your home, and you buy a fucking pit bull to protect your home. Yeah, I think that's just a de- de- a debate defense technique that people use. What? You know what I mean? Like. <clears throat> It's not necessarily the thing that they're talking about. It's just how they're talking about it. Does that make sense? Like it's a because you just said it. You can apply it to anything. Well, yeah. You could talk about how abortion, uh, fuck any any fucking gray area. Yeah, you can fit that to that. Yeah. So. I don't know. Uh, I don't you, think I don't think it's topic specific necessarily. I think it's just the way we communicate as people. Speaking about dogs, <laughs> have you seen? Um, By the way, this is not a funny. No, no, no. I don't think we always Topic. have to be funny. We no, I know. I'm just funny. saying. You know. This will be our fucking serious podcast, and oh, then we'll Jesus. get back to dick and fucking shit in my <laughs> pants jokes next week. Um, By the way, did you have any accidents during your stint? No, I thought I did. Oh, yeah. Close. There was a point. Well, Were you taking a, a nap, and you woke up, you, and you're like, oh. No, 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 no. It was when I was driving and talking to you. Um, have you, have you, ex- I don't want to, hold on. Okay. We'll get to that in a okay. second. Okay, sorry. Go um, ahead. I, w- I was thinking about this was uh, I saw this commercial, mm-hmm. right? And you know, the obvious, the uh, like the save the animals thing. They always show the saddest ones. It's like missing an eyeball. I really, right? I, wa- I wish we could petition to not have those aired anymore. Well, the one with Sarah McLaughlin, I always thought was fucking ridiculous because she's sitting there with her dog that probably eats fucking filet mignon yeah. every night, right? Like he looks kind of smug. He's like... <laughs> Those fucking poor ass dogs. Like he probably doesn't even understand that he's not people. He's the Mitt Romney of dogs. <laughs> and and uh, well, yeah. yeah, so he is uh, the one percent. So not of the that one. World. But there's a new one, which is probably the most horrific I've ever seen. Which is, uh, it's and it's not even like like PETA or anything. It's the Humane Society, right? And mm-hmm. it shows like the skinniest fucking horse you've ever seen, straight up rib cage, like. So like, like I can't I, handle those. The horse looks like the dog from the haunted mansion in uh, <laughs> at Disney, like okay. emaciated, right? Right, and then they show like a tractor like pushing a cow like to its doom. Obviously, at one point they show a dude running oh, with a that. club to hit the baby seal. Right? <clears throat> yep, I like, saw that one too. Which I also, what they still do that? They still yeah. club baby seals. Oh yeah, that's you know how do you I, apply. I, how do you apply for that job? You like, don't. Mark he, McGuire is like, yo. The king. I'm, I'm going to fucking. He, he can take out like six baby seals yeah. in one swing. They're like, I'm going to need you to stand way out. Back up. <laughs> Back up. This baby seal's coming your way, guys. Get that bag ready. <laughs> yeah. Here Sammy, it comes. Sammy Sosa's like, you guys ready for this? White Sammy Sosa? Yeah. Oh, God. He Have you seen terrible. him? Terrible. Yeah. yeah. He, uh, that poor son of a bitch. He, uh, well, he did it to himself. I mean, he's not a poor son of a bitch. It's not like he had. That uh, disease where your skin changes colors, you know, like Michael Jackson. No, he just did the skin bleaching thing to the point. And I don't know if you guys at home want to look this up, uh, look up uh, white Sammy Sosa on your Google search. And the first image that will come up, it's actually a comparison picture of him when he broke the home run record. Mm -hmm. Okay. Versus what he looks like now. He was dark. He looked Cuban when uh, at first. Now or, he uh, Dominican. is. He's paler than I am. No, he's. That's a different color. It's different. It's albino. It's, it's an white. albino color. It's yeah. weird, but he's bleached himself to that point. It is creepy looking, and he's bleached his skin tone. It's such a contrast to what he used to look like that his he doesn't even look like the same person anymore. No, like no, no. if you would if you, he would pass even you even his lips. If he was to pass you color. in the in the in the fucking mall or at the airport you wouldn't recognize him he'd walk right past you and you wouldn't even know it was him it's weird crazy it is weird but uh this is so they club the baby seals oh yeah sorry in the commercial yeah right and then it it cuts to like i'm i'm thinking the whole time i recognize the voice is it the same song too no 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 no. they only use that for the whoever i mean was she was she no she's spca Mm mm-hmm this one's Humane Society. Okay. The irony... Is that they kill animals. You're getting a call. No. No? The Humane Society kills animals. Well, they have to. Well, yeah. Yeah, I mean... They're kill shelters, so... Yeah. So, 
But uh, it cuts to the celebrity. I wonder and if I they realize... hire. I wonder if they just hired the baby clubbing guy to just club puppies and kittens. Yeah, actually, they got him for the video, and they're like, "Jeff, get out there, do what you do." <laughs> and Jeff's like, <laughs> "He's like, all right, I got to put on my winter gear first. Yeah, yeah, get out Slow there, motion. Jeff. That's uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sorry. So they cut to the celebrity, <clears throat> and it's this girl. It's the lady." From a show called Just Shoot Me, which I think is a little no, ironic. Damn it. Are you kidding right? me? No, I'm dead serious. It's the it's the, and <clears throat> on that show, she wore nothing but fur. <laughs> oh, it's her. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know exactly who you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, really, there's no better person. Pamela Anderson is she a better portrays f- the first supermodel type yeah, of lady. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. Like, what a terrible fucking celebrity. I mean, that's the only thing I can tell you that she's from. I cannot name another fucking thing. First of all, the show was called Just Shoot Me. Although I do think it, that campaign ad is uh, pretty rad. The no fur campaign ad where they have like hot chicks naked. Wearing nothing. Yeah. But their own skin. It's pretty, yeah. That's pretty rad. Yeah. But Pamela Anderson's in it and she's wearing nothing but hepatitis. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Looks horrible on her Put too. some fur on that. <laughs> Put some fucking fur. Wrap that up in baby seal with the quickness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got to do something to get this hepatitis away from us. <laughs> if that's the thickest thing you got, we got to get yeah, some mink on that bitch. I know the American <laughs> buffalo are going out, but you fucking wrap that heavy ass fur on that <laughs> hepatitis. You find the last goddamn non breeding panda and you fucking turn that thing into a jacket. <clears throat> yeah, so. Uh, that was that was it. I just I just what what a terrible like. Or is is there any worse celebrity you can think of that would? Yeah, it just it they're a dealer celebrity at this point. You know what I mean? This yeah. is like somebody kind of quasi recognizable. You know, like. And they're paying her right because they're like. <clears throat> she, oh yeah, they yeah. have to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which she is, has to be paid, or she's turning tricks that afternoon yeah, in order she's to like yeah. Playboy and like Hugh Hefner's like no <clears throat> bitch no. No, no, we're not doing a. Uh, we'll take David Spade before we take you. <laughs> we're not doing a mummification <laughs> <Yeah>. episode. <laughs> um, what were you gonna say though? And you're like, oh, we'll get back to that. I don't know. Uh, I'll tell you the truth. Talking about shitting yourself. Oh, shitting myself. Yeah, yeah. Um, there is. We already did. We already talk about the. Yeah, we already talked about the dry heaving. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, there's a new phenomena for me. Ooh. Uh, sitting in the car and uh, I start to think that I'm gonna sh- shit myself right okay and then I fart now this is where it gets sketchy and have you felt this it's literally the fart bubbles so say this is your butt cheeks directly next to each other right okay but this fucking fart bubble travels like Oh, so like, it feels you, like something's coming out of your you ass. You feel a bubble of air travel through your ass. No. You've not had this. Uh-uh. It is the, like, I was like driving. I'm like, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. And I'm like, I'm like oh, God. And then I'm like, oh, oh, oh you, there it is. And you felt the bubble? Now I'm moving around in the chair. Trying to feel this. Yeah. Wet. I'm like, is it, is, I feel dry, but, and I, and it happened like four times. And I literally, it feels like, because it's, like, it's all stuck together. So it's like, bloop, and then this fucking air pocket travels, travels down. straight out of your ass. And since it's already body temperature, it, it feels warm. Yes, exactly. So it's, you at feel least, like it has Like if body. I had a fever, it's at least 102 degrees Oof. coming right out of my anus. Jesus. Yes, indeed, Jesus. Or the lack thereof. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I have not experienced that phenomenon, and um, I can't relate to anything that you're saying right now. I think that's interesting. I, 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 <laughs> what a I, terrible segment I, this I, is. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope to never experience that because I'll instantly think I've shot myself, and uh, I'll start to cry. Sammy Sosa is going to think he's famous again because we got five people to look him up on Google. <laughs> <laughs> he got a five-person spike. Yeah. <laughs> They love me again, man. All right, so uh, we're gonna take another break here. Yeah, probably. Uh, good I'm gonna point. I'm gonna switch it up on you guys here. Uh, I'm gonna he, play. He a, just tangoed to tell you he's gonna do that. I'm gonna play uh, a band that is a European house music 
Come on. You know Damien is going to break your fucking balls. I don't care. This is uh, Hot Chip, and um, the song is I Feel Better. And uh, you probably dig this because I dig them. And uh, if you don't, I don't give a fuck. Once again, you're listening to Corey and AJ's Degenerate School of Wizardry. Thanks for tuning in, guys.
And we're back with Corey and AJ's Degenerate School of Wizardry. Once again, that was Hot Chip with uh, I Feel Better. And uh, they're a European house band. Uh, the lead singer is a male, by the way. I feel worse. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <laughs> I, I, I tend to dig that band. I like that they use steel drums as the bass to their music, uh, which is very uncommon with house music today. Ever since I went to Jamaica, I hate fucking steel drums. Yeah, I, I don't. I mean, I don't really like Jamaican music anyway. But that was another episode where you drank the water and you got the shits. Do you? Uh, how do you feel about Bob Marley? I feel like I'm the only person on the fucking planet that doesn't. I I hate Bob Marley. Uh, I don't hate Bob Marley um, because there's only very few genres that I hate. I could listen to it. I don't have anything. I don't have any Bob Marley in my catalog. If that says anything, and all of my iTunes, I don't have any Bob Marley. It's just that all of his songs are there. Everyone is it's it's this ready. Hey, we're gonna rise above because we're black and we're gonna make it happen. Well, and everybody <laughs> party on. Well, I mean, it's uh, it's political driven music. You know, but that's not what people. That's not the songs that people like by Bob Marley. Yeah, and ninety nine percent of people that can sing to Buffalo Soldier have no fucking clue what that means, and maybe that adds to it. But I don't. I a I don't. It, Bob Marley and Muse. Like, why do people like Muse? They uh, write the same fucking song over and over and over. Again. Yeah, I <clears throat> I happen to like the Muse. Um. What I like about it, it reminds me of kind of like the Pesh Mode and like the 80s synthesizer sound that's not around anymore. Did you see and my it, joke on Facebook? And oh. they kind of just adopted that. No, I didn't. What, what do Jason Statham and Muse have in common? No. What? They play the same thing over and over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Anyway, so we're back um, with the whole uh, Bob Marley thing, though. Um, you know, his, his, uh, his dad was white. Bob Marley's father? Yes. No. Oh, makes sense. He didn't write any songs about that, did he? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're uh you're you're traveling down the avenue of why is there a B E T and not a No, because I understand that every other channel is, is. W E T. I get that. <laughs> I get that. I mean <laughs> W P T V White People Television. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We would have to make it longer. It wouldn't just be like for white people, like white entertainment, that's weird. Um, Caucasian um, enhancement viewing pleasure. C E V P. C E V P. It sounds like a sounds like a new STD. I like the way that you held on to the P. I had there was to a pause. It out. P. I was doing it in my head. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. I like that. No, uh, yeah, it's. It, I wish. I, I wish Bob Marley wrote songs about his white heritage, which would totally contradict Buffalo Soldier. It'd be like, we own, we own people. They pick our cotton. <laughs> Said every little thing. Gonna <laughs> give us money. <laughs> gonna impregnate all your women. <laughs> all Jew women. All jur, all jur women. <laughs> I mean, he went, he got Puerto Rican there too. He probably has some Puerto Rico, maybe somewhere in there. Uh, that's funny too. Jesus. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. I had a I had a train of thought that I wanted to roll into. I had an, oh yeah okay so um, the Grammys are coming up this weekend. Yeah, I can't tell you a fucking thing. And that's fine. Um, Mumford and Sons are the one of the featured bands. Uh, which their be, new album which be is cool. not good. Okay. Um, Something that I found very entertaining recently, uh, everyone's talking about uh, inherently in the music industry. So what, what? inherently there you go in the music industry, uh, when you're a child superstar, inevitably you reach the point of adulthood. And usually there's this weird bubble that happens where it's like child star growing into adulthood. It's like this boo, boo, right. boo. Which and, it, it's and it's only in the last fifteen years. If you go back, all these child stars. It's what you're gonna say, I think, which is the the backlash. They start, they start the party, and, right. and all the stuff becomes public, and then all of a sudden it pops, right? And you have Lindsay Lohan. Well, anyways, recently Justin Bieber, and something I'm very excited about, is starting to. He's starting his bubble. 
no, 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 no. I know his, what you're boo, talking about. Boo, yeah, his uh, boo, and his and weed thing, right? Not only that, but there's a new development. Have you seen this latest photo? Wait, wait, wait. Before you even get into that, let's talk about the weed thing first, because okay. one of the baddest ass moves. He was never a Disney star or no, anything. No, he, no, no. He wasn't a Miley Cyrus, which he, he was he, one he, of the first YouTube sensations. That's how Justin Bieber was uh, discovered. Right, he right. was this child uh, musical prodigy and. To his credit, I'm not a Bieber fan, but to right. his credit, the kid can play the drums, he can play guitar, so there's all these old YouTube videos of him when he's a child doing these various things, also singing and dancing, mm -hmm. like Michael Jackson, um, and Usher saw these videos and... Took him under his wing. Right. Brilliant, by the right, way. Right, he, that was the That was the P. Diddy move of our generation. Oh, it was better than that. It was... From a financial a standpoint, Quincy, Quincy uh, Jones move. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Perfect. But anyway, so um, Bieber squeaky clean image. Uh, I believe he's like eighteen now. Uh, yeah, or nineteen. He something like that. Well, he's I worth guess. he's worth a quarter of a billion dollars. Two hundred twenty-five million dollars. On, on uh, that's a lot of money. Not not to uh, the motherfucker has a chrome Lamborghini. He got a Maserati for his birthday from his manager on the Ellen DeGeneres show. I saw it. I watched it. Okay. Um. Uh. But he smoked weed. Right. And uh and immediately after the news broke, mm -hmm. uh big balls move of the year, I will say. Um and this can be a new thing we do, big balls move of the year. <laughs> okay, I like it. Um he came out and the first the fucking thing he tweeted after it came out on the news and every fucking thing was Yeah, I smoked weed. That affects you how? Boom. Boom. I grew now I'm a fucking fan. I grew a little little respect for him. <laughs> yeah, a little respect yeah. for him. I was like, well, god damn it. Yeah, there's Christian girls all over Son the planet that were like, oh, I don't think I like him anymore. I guess it's just Taylor now, Swift from but here now on there's, out. Yeah, now there's 30-year-old men that are like, hey, this guy. Hey, that's some I'll fucking... hang out with him now. Yeah, yeah. like this guy. <laughs> this little fucktard. Look so at what's, him. what's the new thing he did? Oh, god, I, got, I was like, that, what a fucking ballsy move there are pictures that tmz has recently released where it's him and his boys partying mm -hmm. and they are getting down a uh, little wayne style there is, is a giant pharmaceutical bottle of scissor don't ever do that again well that's what it is no, it's, it's coding yeah okay say say coding <clears throat> don't say scissor uh, no. Three Six Mafia. By that, the way, they're, yeah, they're that, the ones that made that popular. A Fifteen year old reference. <laughs> <laughs> well, how old were we? Fifteen years ago. Well, if we yeah. ever want to get these Bieber fans on track with this show, <laughs> you can't say stuff like that. Yeah, sipping on some. They they weren't even born as yet. As far as they're concerned, CeeLo has always been a fucking solo artist. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> um, Justin Bieber's party pictures. There's a giant bottle of codeine and it have you seen the little wayne documentary uh no where I, he's like motherfucker i'm a grown ass man you don't need to know what's in my cup that's my cup motherfucker i, I like they were probably just like hey what's in your cup and yeah. he says like i'm a grown ass man like they were carding him or something well he was completely faded yeah and in in the clips that led up to that question you just see him keep dumping this codeine into a, a styrofoam cup and then mixing it with sprite anyways so Bieber and his little Bieber buddies, um, there's a bottle of codeine just chilling on that table, and they all have styrofoam cups, and there's a bottle of Sprite right next to it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I love it. No caffeine. We don't want to go this way. We only want to go down. As fast as we can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, then they asked... Uh, in an interview, what was in your cup, Justin? Oh, and did he say, I'm a grown-ass man? You ain't even know what's in my no, cup. No, he, he goes, oh, I don't recall. That was it, and he just dropped it. I don't recall. I don't recall what's in my, my cup. And oh, you, there needs to be better reporters, because then you're like, do you not recall because it was fucking coding? <laughs> did you black out, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Did you get a little too <laughs> fucked up? Did you... you, you uh, anyways, so anyways, this bubble's happening, happening now for Justin Bieber. And I couldn't be more thrilled. And it's not like I'm like, oh, the demise of Justin Bieber. Rise up and everyone be against him. No, it, you want him to fucking rise up and fuck just, everybody else. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, you've reached your pinnacle, bro. Like, from this point forward, you're going to have to find a niche. Because you're now outgrowing well, these 12-year-olds. Is it true, though? I mean, look at, yes. look at Justin Timberlake. 
Yeah, he's outgrown that market. Yeah, but it's not a niche. He fucking still appeals to even the people that... Actually, he outgrew the music industry because he, he just reached released his... a new album. I, what I'm saying is he reached that point where oh, instead superstar of... Superstar status. Right. Instead of being the bubble like, oh, I'm a bad boy, it was... uh, And he stepped away from the industry and did acting, did the Saturday Night Live thing. And now he's slowly progressing back into the music scene, but he's coming back for a different demographic. Now he's appealing to the adult side of the industry and he's not focusing on kids. Right. Does it make you mad that we never had a fucking chance to be to ever get to superstar status? We never had a chance. Even in podcast land, I'll say we're we're pretty funny and we talk about serious things and you know, you can go one way or the other. But Chris Hardwick, we're not as pretty as Chris Hardwick. Well, that, that that might be true, but I mean, if you look at it, uh, Kevin Smith's uh, comic book, comic book men show is based on his podcast. And is there one good looking dude on that show? Mm, I don't know. Did Jason Muse get fucking veneers? Yeah. Or what? What the fuck is wrong he got with clean. his face now? He got clean. He he got veneers, and he's sober now. Oh Jesus! Christ. And he's like he all into looks- like. He looks like Hillary Duff. He's like, uh, uh, like, uh, super, uh, clean lifestyle. He's vegan, but he's still trying to be like that stoner vibe where he's like, whoa, snoochie boochies. And he's not that guy Does anymore. Does he say that? Does he say that? Oh yeah. Have you seen him in the show? You no, I don't watch that fucking show. You should watch it. You dig it. Cause it's all about comedy. He was just on a show that I did want to watch, but I missed the first one and I'll never get into it. But it, like King of the Geeks uh, no. is on TBS or something. Oh yeah. With it's a uh, reality show with nerds. Booger. Yeah. Yeah. Well, fucking. Yeah. That's the other reason. That's actually the main reason. Did you know, by the way? Okay, it's Booger and uh, what's his name? Uh, the other guy from I, Revenge of the Nerds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you know he's a Carradine? Yeah, I did know that. He's a fucking Carradine. Yeah. I did not know that. You didn't know that before, did you? No, I mean, I. Until I, they I, said his name, yeah, 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 Carradine, yeah, yeah. and you're like, oh, <clears throat> it's a fucking dynasty of shitty people. I was trying to actually come up with a Booger autoeroticism joke. How to blend those two together, <laughs> and I failed. No, no it's fine. It's I, fine. It took, I had like a two second window, and I was like, <laughs> "Be genius right now, be genius." <laughs> yeah. No, failing. Apart. Failing. Failing. This just is not, this not, is our worst show. I'm just not funny. No, no, no. This is our worst show. Neither one of us are funny. This show. <laughs> it's a. No, I'm enjoying this. No, I, I'm loving it. Yeah, but a good time. Uh, this is not why people. So, anyways, tune in. let's let's jump back into this Justin Bieber thing. So. <clears throat> where does he go from here? Does he do the whole I'm going to drop the l- fun loving little kid thing or does he do the Justin cuz like he, he from a very young age in interviews he'd always it, talked about aspiring to do the movie role thing. So does he back away from the music industry and get involved in like the next Twilight Saga thing where he becomes like the biggest celebrity star for like these tweenies? Well, um, like that would probably be his next like entertain from like an entertainment manager standpoint. I believe that would be his best move. I think he needs to stop putting out music. I think he probably tours maybe twice more. Right? Yeah, I just, mean, just to keep that that level going. Yeah, because he can't. He is selling out. You have to he every has arena to, he goes to. Look, so yeah, you don't yeah, you don't you abandon get that, that money yeah, there, yeah. right? But maybe two more, right? Two more tours. Yeah. Then step out, be a commodity, be something. Spokesperson? No, 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 no. Spokesperson, no way. Justin Timberlake, it like you said, you fucking step away. What did Justin Timberlake do uh, between the release of his last album when we were fucking nineteen? I don't know. That was his last album, I believe. <clears throat> um, great album. Uh, I'm not even afraid to say it. Um, no, I believe he put out an album recently within the. Like five years ago, the the Timberland track. Well, that, he might have done a track, but no, that's no, no. not an I, album. I think he put an album out. No, Tim, Timberland put out an album where he collaborated with a bunch of artists. That's what Timberland does. He's a producer. Yeah, but Ju- but Justin Timberlake went on tour around that time. So if he was on tour, he had been touring an album. We'll have to do more research the yeah. next time we talk about We're anything. doing that thing that we hate <laughs> when yeah. people talk about shit they don't even know yeah, anything yeah. about. Well, yeah. I, we always, you and I always talk about how we're just sending wrong information out into the inter- internet. I hate that. The interweb. Um, 
But I would say you'd take a page from the... I mean, Justin Timberlake is the Michael Jackson of our era, I would say, mm-hmm. right? But it was different then. They they released music videos and they released records, mm-hmm. right? Now, uh, Justin Timberlake has grown with the way the internet moves, the way the internet is the way social media is, right? Now he stepped away. He did what? He did cameos in movies. He did Alpha Dog, which was a fucking good movie. Yeah. Uh, he did... Uh, he was in The Social Network. Yep. Um, <clears throat> when I picture Justin Timberlake, though, all I see is Ryan Felipe. What other movies was he in? He just did that one uh, movie called In Time, where he was the star of that action movie. That's not what it was called, but I know what you're talking something about. In, something yeah, about yeah, time. Th- but that flopped, didn't it? I, um, I believe I never heard anything about it after I saw the preview and I was like, Ooh, it's pretty good. Um, he was in that romantic comedy that came out. He was just in, uh, that, that movie with, uh, Clint Eastwood, something about pitch. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Trouble there, with a curve. But there's nothing that's that like he's never, he was the star of that in time movie. Oh well, yeah. 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 It's called. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. But it was never reported on how big of a flop that was. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it's almost like he's picking the right roles, even if it's going to be a bad movie. Yeah. That they're not reporting how bad it is. Now, here's my critique for, for Justin Timberlake as an actor in every movie that he's in. He's just Justin Timberlake. Mm -mm. I think so. Alpha dog was probably his best role outside of, Cause like in all these other movies, what was the like, movie where he was like, in fucking, like the social uh, network, he underwear. just plays Justin. But you don't know who Justin Timberlake is, and what does he play? He plays what cool guy? <laughs> yeah, but he just that's, that's what he looks persona. like. Like that's, that's what like, he looks like. That's what that's what and he, that's, that's, that's what he why puts out in the universe. Ryan you know? Felipe fucking falls into my head because they play fucking cool guys. Look, hey, we're fucking pretty. Look at that. <sighs> it's terrible. Lonely Island. What are you doing? I don't know. You yeah. just shave it. You can keep your awesome sideburns. Don't make fun of my sideburns. I did. I called them awesome. No, you're making fun of me. No, I'm telling you. You just look right here, right where the ear meets the head. You want me to draw a line right there and just go yeah. sing? But you see, you have a division. You have some. You have you have green oh, glasses. Well, wear your fucking glasses and take your fucking hat off. <laughs> just wear your glasses <laughs> at all times. Yeah. <laughs> or stand in the sun for 15 minutes, you pale bastard. Actually, I, w- I don't wear my hat at work, so the top of my head is actually the same skin color as the rest of my face right now. I don't know if you noticed that. It used to be there There was that line. Remember I had that indention in my forehead at all times? <laughs> yeah. You remember the indention. Fetal alcohol syndrome yeah, is what exactly. that's called. Um, <clears throat> so I had that indention in my head, and there was a clear division as far as the uh, ghost white top of my head. But uh, it's all the same color right now. Do you know Jimmy Russell Farm by any chance? Uh, Jimmy Russell Farm. Russell, I maybe I, I know a Russell. Someone I worked with in Guardian Fire Protection in Maryland. I don't know. He said I, one of you is gay. Discuss sell crack to the kids. I don't know what that means. Oh, uh, I don't know. Shithead. Possibly. Probably. Uh, let me see. No, no, I can't see your computer. <laughs> What's the picture? There is no it's picture. No, no. Oh, okay. no. I, I don't know why. I don't know what the fuck. How come my chat never updates for shit? I don't know. But anonymous douchebags. Why don't you call Jimmy Russell Farm if you want to talk about things and say shitty shit? <clears throat> anyway, so. Um. Anyway, so. Yeah. If I was if I was Justin Bieber, I would just. Follow the track of Justin Timberlake. You take good roles, take funny roles, be funny. But he's been on Saturday Night Live. Not funny. He's well, not funny on Saturday Night Live. Do you, you understand that Saturday Night Live is uh. not awesome right now? It's not their best years. These are, it's not. They're never going to be remembered for the 2012 season like they were when... Three years ago, four years ago? No, Fuck that. When Will Ferrell was on and then, you know, going back to oh, David Spade. And, I, I, and No, I'm not trying to discredit that because that was a, a level that won't be reached again. No, it will. It will. It goes in waves. Hey, dude, Saturday Night but, Live. but uh, dude, four years ago, it was fucking they couldn't fail. Four years ago? Yeah, man. They had the Lonely Island. 
guys. I got guys, you. ironically enough. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they had um, uh, what's his name? Jimmy Fallon. They had Will Ferrell. That was it. Was longer than four years ago. They had Fallon. No, this might be no. Jimmy Russell. No, <laughs> it's not. I'm not gonna take this call on the air. But anyways, go what ahead. What are you doing? <clears throat> it's my buddy again talking about the fucking hockey. I told him we're in the middle of the show, <laughs> <laughs> and he continues to try to call my phone. Although you know what's fair to him mm-hmm. he's never seen an episode cause, so he doesn't know that we use my phone as the heartbeat to people calling in he's unaware of that i should probably tell him fair enough are we ready so for a break a or what you want to play some more shitty music <clears throat> um if you want to pick a song go right ahead it's all you it's my shitty music fuck you man <laughs> it's house music I'll, I'll just pick the uh I and mean, what are you, what 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 are you gonna select here off the um, top of your head? I mean, it's exactly the song I played just to amp us up right at the beginning. Uh, you're just trying to show off. No, I'm not. Well, yeah. AJ loves to show off new music that I'm he not, finds, I and that's love, cool. I love because I don't find new music often, okay. and I usually find it completely on accident. Um, I found this group um, on accident on YouTube. I guess I was I guess I was looking up rap battles okay um and there was a guy named soul Khan who apparently destroyed in new york like four years ago and then retired like on top right um i wikipedia'd him he apparently has released like six eps and uh and one full album for free um but he is a part of a uh a crew if you will okay from the uh brooklyn and uh, they're called the Brown Bag All Stars, which you and I were talking earlier. Best fucking name God, ever, dude. I wish we named our podcast oh, that. Dude, Fuck. it's such a gangster fucking thing. God damn it. Brown Bag All Stars is a great name. Um, Almost as good as the uh, horseshoe team that you and Steve. No, uh, Hetty. Hetty had created. I think Steve was part of that, too. No, he was he there, but he wasn't. It was me and Hetty were the Gainesville Clydesdales. Best goddamn horseshoe team ever. <laughs> you don't even know. Best name ever. <laughs> um, but Ironically is, enough, you were playing while drinking 40s and brown paper bags. Yeah. True which story. means I actually own all rights to this name that they have. No. Okay. Um, this is uh, Brown Bag All-Stars. The first guy rapping is... Um, Soul Con, mm-hmm. that's him, and uh, this song is uh, this should be our new anthem, which is League of Intoxicated Gentlemen. Oh, again, they fucking robbed us. No, of but a well, great that's name. that's League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. That was a movie. Yeah, but Intoxicated Gentlemen. Yeah. You ready? I I I wanted to start a a, a page where you like wrote because like. I went to that phase where I was having nightmares all the time. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. I want. Uh, I. What did I call it? The League of. E- esoteric nightmares. That's what it was called, and I wanted to start a page where people just listed horrific nightmares that they had. I don't know. It was an idea that I had, and it just went nowhere. <laughs> all right, great talk. Fuck you. AJ. This is a. Should I should I do a playlist? I mean, this is only three thirty two. I can pick another song right quick. Yeah, do that. All right, fuck you. Keep talking then, because uh, I have to get rid of some. The League of Exoteric Nightmares. I think that's what it was called. That's what it was called? Yeah. You've had a lot of internet ideas that... Uh, is logged in blog... Is that a thing still? It could be a thing. No, no, no. I'm asking if it is. A no, thing. no. Okay. I, I, talked, I went into depth about... Uh, I got that virus from that Russian DVD internet sale thing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about, but so, that's fucking <clears throat> hilarious. So the only way to post pictures on Logged and Blog, which was a website that I had some time ago, was that you had to email me the photo, and then I would post the email onto the page. Like, I was running Seems the like whole thing. a lot of work. It was. Um, but that was before the interface of being able to load things from your cell phones from apps and stuff. Anyways... Uh, I started to get a bunch of spam email as one would in an, any normal email account, right? Mm-hmm. And one of the emails, as I'm deleting them, I didn't open it. I just simply deleted it. And it 
caused a virus on the site. And I contacted GoDaddy about it because it fucked the page up. Like GoDaddy. Uh, yeah, that's who I was going through. GoDaddy. And I, like, I didn't watch the Super Bowl, by the way. Did I, they have any commercials? Yeah, yeah, they did. They okay. had this like really nerdy dude making out with like uh, this hot model, Danica Patrick. No, no, no. This hot model who's like married to Leonardo DiCaprio or something. Mm-hmm. But they're like making out and tonguing and shit. It was gross. Creeped me out. Didn't like it. Made me very uncomfortable. Um. Anyways. Um. So the the site got like all these weird like Russian lettering all over it, like totally fucked the page up, and there's nothing I could do about it. I'm not an IT guy; I can't right, fix right, the problem. Right, right. So I contact GoDaddy, and they want like twenty seven hundred dollars to fix it. They told me it would cost me twenty seven hundred dollars to fix it, and I was like, "Fuck it, you can eat a dick. This makes me nothing." Yeah, I'm doing. <laughs> I'm posting pictures of my friend's shit on yeah. the internet for free. That's exactly what's in my wallet. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. So, that so was the death this of my is website. a brown bag all stars league of intoxicated gentlemen. Um, and then uh, my favorite hardcore song ever by Caven, or not by them, but my favorite hardcore song ever mm-hmm. is by Caven, and it's called Crossbear. And we got about eight minutes here. Cool. Good break. We'll come back with uh, questions <laughs> from Christian. And, and we'll, we'll call it fucking night. You have been listening to Corey and AJ Degenerate School of Wizardry. We'll be back in a couple. On a drum. True standards of the melon from the Nage on Why? The jealous of the seller, not swab is why. The sick is in the chicken group. You fit into a different group of introduce so that's a new a little bit of skipping through. Blood stream is the chip group rising by the sick of love. Clock when I rock ain't nobody really sick of love. Double B sound, motherfucker, we clown. Your girl looking like you wanna juggle me down. She capturing my hoes at dang is like a cone at camera with a throat back. The fender with a slow sack. I'm busy lifting this and when it hits a twist of those.
And we're back with Corey and AJ, Degenerate School of Wizardry. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, once again, the number to participate is 920 corrupt or 920-267-7878. Pull your head out of your ass and give us a call. Actually, don't because we have a, a, a segment very good coming up. Friend of the show calling. Uh, just on the text, so cool. Should be calling any moment. Questions with Christian. Yeah, we, we're gonna have to get a drop for that. Uh, Christian, yeah, like, stupid questions. I knew immediately when you kept your eyes closed that you were gonna keep singing. <laughs> like, uh, shit, speak of the devil. There he is. Call from Christian. Of course. <laughs> Except. <laughs> Christian, thanks for calling Corey and AJ's Degenerate School of Wizardry. How are we doing on this lovely Friday evening, my friend? Hello. Hello. Uh, I, uh, I am uh, slightly intoxicated. And it's a... Uh, and I... By the way, you sent me a text today that said, can I ask my question and immediately hang up? Yes, you can. <laughs> yes. But I decided against that. Are you, are you naked right now? What's that? Are you naked right now? Am I naked? Yes. yes. No. All right. Hang not, up. Not yet. Not hang, yet. Hang up and Night's then early. get naked and then call. No, I'm kidding. Go ahead. What, what's and, what's what's so quest, I, questions with Christian? <laughs> that's so, your that's your so shitty jingle. <laughs> I have a I have a uh, I have a travel mug, and it and it seals. You know, it's got like a trigger on the back that opens it. Okay. And I found that. It's, you know, thermal insulated, so I put beer in there, and because it's sealed, it keeps the carbonation. It's pretty sweet. That's actually pretty I awesome. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, I do have a question. Um, <laughs> what, 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 That's the great, what, what that is the greatest fucking thing you've ever said to me <laughs> in, in all of our friendship. I love that you told that story first, because <laughs> uh, I thought that was leading into the question, but you were like, here's a fact. And now I have a question. <laughs> what What is the absolute, absolute worst advice that you've ever received? And, and and on the flip side of that, what is the worst advice you've ever get knowingly given someone that you were just like, oh man, I just gave that guy some really fucking bad advice, and then just didn't say anything? Oh, God. that's a that's good really, question. It's a really good question. And <sighs> You know what? We're going to have to think about it and uh, get back to you next week. Uh, good talk, Christian. No, I'm just kidding. Um, God, that's tough because I know I've I know I've know sabotaged people. Okay, listen, listen, Christian. All right, you're going to ask us questions. This is not going to turn into, can I stump the shit out of <laughs> yeah. Corey and AJ? Can I ruin the fucking last <laughs> segment of this show dedicated to me? Well, that, wasn't, that wasn't the point of it. I mean, no, no, I, know I, know. I know that. I know that. Me but, and AJ have both been in situations, and I'm sure you have too, Corey, that have just been, like, absurd. And so, like, you're on the bus, and some crackhead leans over, he's like, every time you see a nickel, make sure you pick it up now. And you're like, you know what, dude? Uh, yeah, right. Okay, you're the Benjamin Franklin of the <laughs> crackheads on the fucking game, bill. Awesome. Like, you fucking won. <laughs> like, uh, it's, it's out there in the ether you know what I mean you pick it up when you're especially when you're in a, a city like if you're in Philadelphia or in New York which both you guys are both in both places so you know what I mean when you just get fined random people try to give you advice like, there's a guy at my work he doesn't work with us but he's he like works a at us man. And, <laughs> yeah he's a maintenance man and I was buying a soda from the soda machine and he's like hey you know if you go to Dollar General you could get a two liter for a dollar I'm like okay that's great and then, like, a week later, my buddy Chase that I work with is like, hey, man, you know that guy? Well, I was getting a soda out of the soda machine, and he's like, you know, you can get a two-liter for a dollar. And dollar. I'm like, holy crap, this dude's got one piece of advice. <laughs> he's to got, give everyone he's got one line. He's got one line he delivers to everybody. Little did you know, he is the owner of that Dollar General. <laughs> yeah. He's <just> the <laughs> fucking millionaire. <laughs> Actually, he's not even your maintenance guy. He just stands around that soda machine waiting <laughs> to tell people to do that. Uh, God, let me think about this. I'm sure some of my worst advice probably had to do with partying at some point 
me telling someone that they could do something when I knew damn well they shouldn't have been doing it. It was probably me. P possibly. Because generally, I'm <clears throat> always the one that comes up with I'm when I'm shit housed or really fucked up. I always come up with great feats of either strength or personality. Right? Like, I'm like, hey, you think I could beat up that guy? No, actually, Christian, the worst piece of advice I ever got came from you. Whoa. I just, <laughs> it just, as we were talking, as I was getting that sentence out, I realized what it was, which was the very first time you and I ever hung out, Um, we got shit hammered, and... We first went to the Christiana Mall with your cousin, who is fucking 14 years old. <laughs> We're hanging out with his cousin. Okay. If she's 14. All right. And, and I'm like, that's not fine. I'm 25 or 23. Right. And he's like, no, 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 no. She's all right. And I'm like, okay. Because <laughs> I don't have any other fucking friends. <laughs> so fucking whatever you tell me, I guess is fine. And uh, and then we, we had plans, and we went to a show in Delaware. We were already in Delaware. We went to that mall, Christiana Mall. Hello. And then we went to a fucking... We're, we're in Delaware. Yeah. Sorry. Then we went to a show. And, uh, World reference. And while we were there for... We were, at the, we were walking up to the show, and I, I said, holy shit, look how tall that guy is. And I was like, you think I could jump on his back and he won't notice? And Christian said, yep. <laughs> so I took a running start from where we were about 25 yards from this guy. Full sprint. Never met him. Never met him. Christian said, yeah, you can do it. Jumped on his back. He thought it was his friend who was like, hey, who's this? And I'm like, AJ fucking Davis. And then he flipped me. Oh, God. Hip checked you. No, he flipped me over his fucking head onto my back onto the concrete. Right, but did he like throw his hip to flip you over? No, no, oh. I went. Or he just leaned forward. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fast. <laughs> <laughs> and I landed square on my back. And then that guy was fucking mean mugging me the whole rest of the show. Uh. And that story, <laughs> that story ends with Christian also said later that night uh, after the show, and we got worse drunk. Uh, we stopped at a Wendy's and I'm like, I gotta pee so bad. He's like, just go, go on the side of the Wendy's. But I'm not realizing, as drunk as I am, what is the side of the Wendy's. So you know how a lot of Wendy's have windows yeah. for one whole wall? Yeah. There, that's where I'm peeing. Nice. As families be, just watch. Just trying, they're just trying to enjoy a nice baked fruit. potato. They're just trying to eat their chili with you a little bit of cheese on is, top. I don't even remember seeing them. I just I mean, remember. Here's a big eyeful of AJ's cock right <laughs> in the window. Be like, um, I'm enjoying a frosty, and there's a cock. I'll take a bacon double, <laughs> bacon double cheese Welcome with a side Jerry. of uh, Floridian a dick. Pencil, here's a dick. Yeah. <laughs> So that's the worst information I've ever gotten. I don't know about the worst oh, information I've given. Maybe, uh, Christian, put your dick in this girl's mouth. Up. But, Adrian, you just brought something up of, of like, feats of drunken strength. And uh, we were at that show at the skating rink in Franklinville. And, I, see, you know, Corey, I'm standing there, like, off to the side getting a drink, and I look back, and there's AJ in the middle of the dance floor, and he gets mule kicked in the chest harder than I've ever seen. He comes strolling over to me, out of breath, just like, uh, uh, I'm going to go have a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> like, of course. It was, uh, it was one of the two last times I ever hardcore danced. Yeah. Uh, it was that, and then that hand-to-hand -hand show we went to. Yeah, which the same exact fucking thing happened. Mm -hmm. I got mule kicked right in the diaphragm, and I'm like, <gasps> "Remember the days when we we could, we could take a kick and a punch, and it was just like oh, that and you're was like laughing. That's and you're amped. Like, this is this is yeah, the scene. Get, getting amped up, oh, dude. We're all together. Yeah. Unity through mule kicks. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, Unity that, through mule that, kicks. No, I, I have it. I have a t-shirt idea. Oh, we get we get oh, AJ, yeah. AJ on a uh, you and you and AJ uh -huh. on a uh, Red Rider wagon, holding a, a flag that says "Gun Control Now," 
being led by a team of like pit rabid pit bulls riding up the uh, the steps of like the the fucking uh, Capitol building in uh, Washington D.C. You know what? It was a shitty question, Christian, but you came through with the shirt idea, buddy. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. You really came through, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Questions with Christian. Christian stupid I think that's questions. Be my, uh, George to stand the moment to there drop you go. the Throw mic. The, and walk the, just right. drop the phone <laughs> and drop walk the away. Phone and say good night. All right, brother. Thank you so much all for right, calling, man. man. We will talk to you next week, man. Have a good night. Have a good party. <laughs> Stay safe and all that good shit. All right, bro. I love you, dude. You guys do the same. Love right. you guys. Peace. Oh, dude, what a good shirt idea, man. Fucking, he fucking killed him. Now we just have to find now, an artist. Here's my here's my question. What's with the Red Rider wagon reference? Did I miss that? Did I miss something there? No, there was nothing there. Just, so it's just us in a wagon. Or it could be a covered wagon. It, what we should do. No, but I loved could, his idea about rabid pit bulls pulling the wagon. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's great. I like it, too. And gun control what about, now, which what, what, fits perfectly with everything we fucking talk about. What if we do like an Iditarod type of thing where we're being pulled by a dog sled of rabid pit bulls and I'm holding a sign that says gun control now and you're clubbing a seal? Mm, too, too much? much? Stretching yeah, it a little bit too, too much? much? I mean, that's so many inside jokes for one shirt. Yeah. But that's, should... kind of, that's kind of awesome. Yeah. But would, I mean, would you... Make it so obscure that every time someone looks at it, they see something different. Right. And then, like, like the people that do buy it, they have to explain every fucking part of this entire thing. And I think that's kind of awesome, too. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll be... We, we'll take the heads off of our logo and put them onto little bodies. <laughs> Stick right. figures. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> like, we'll just have Aaron uh, okay. draw little bodies and, like, flags. So we'll be bobbleheads. Yeah, basically. Okay. And, like, I'm, you're holding gun control now, and, like, I have shit in the back of my pants. <laughs> and they have to explain everything. You're clubbing a baby seal, and you're, <laughs> yeah. there's a bulge in your ass with, like, smell yeah. lines coming and flies around. We're like, what's wrong with his ass? We're like, it's full of shit. Now, here's the thing. When I explain this to Aaron and he has to draw it, I'm going to have to just be like, just listen to the last fucking 15 minutes of the show because there's no way I can explain this again. My character, Bobblehead, and then my little hair patch up top, just make it an island with like a uh, no, no, palm no. tree. No, no, no. We're not up. changing oh, okay, that. Okay, we have the okay. hats on. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Settle down. I'm, trying, I'm getting way <laughs> too in depth. I, yeah. I, get, I get excited. Just, let's just put all of our jokes into one shirt. <laughs> <laughs> never, never have, to, have to make another <laughs> ever again. <laughs> Although right, I will say, uh, I wore my uh, my Corey and AJ shirt to work the other day, mm -hmm. and like three people that I work with were like, "I want one." Oh, dude, I've had people stop. I I wore it out to go shopping randomly, and I had people stop and ask me what it was about because they recognized the face to the picture, which I was not happy about. But yeah, they were see, like, it does look like you, they're, you they're, motherfucker. They're like, they're like, what's uh, what's that shirt about? I see you got a, what do you got a company or something? And I'm like, no, I was t you know, yeah, right, an internet show. Degenerate School of Wizardry is my fucking company. I uh, pretty awesome. It's a union <laughs> of magicians. <laughs> Degenerate magi magicians. Um, all right, well, we're coming up here to the end of the show. Uh, it well, has I thank to be you guys right now. <laughs> uh, thanks so much for sticking in there with us, guys, and. Um, Fuck Jimmy Russell Farm, whoever and, that is, uh, if he wants to talk shit. Next week, we will be back, and uh, we'll be Maybe. doing the we same thing. Maybe. We don't know. We might break up. This could be the end. AJ may text me God. with something random about my day, and I'll reply back with, yeah, dude, my day's going pretty good, and then I won't hear from him for four days. And then I'll and, think that was sarcastic. What a and, shit thing and to say to me. we'll be broken up again. Yeah. I'm, but why is he referencing the Holocaust I had, right now? I had no idea we were broken up, to be honest with you. That's terrible. All. And then right. when you called me, and you were like, so we getting back together? So we're good or what? I was like, what the fuck? Getting the fuck? old band back together? I was like, what the fuck are you right, we gotta talking go now. about? We got to go now. All right. As always. Uh, it's uh, We are easy to hate, impossible not to love. And also, do not call them eggplants. Headbutt city, baby. <laughs> Headbutt fucking city. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>